Welcome to another reaction video. This one's to Bandmade, Turn Me On. Once again, this is continuing the World Domination album. I know nothing about this song. Absolutely nothing. Um, I tried to pick um, live videos because I, once again, I don't like having just the logo there. And I think it's better to not just have the logo there. Um, but to see sort of how they play the song, even if you don't hear like all the layers and complexities that are on the studio version and what and within the hard time that they took recording it, you know, for, for the album. But um, live is just as good, if not sometimes better. Or if not most times better. Whenever I see band made live in videos, they most of the time play the song better live than they do on the studio. Because um, the studio has like production and whatnot. But um, let's continue. Let's just start Turn Me On. I think we we'll, we'll go back and I think we we'll just continue. Um, you all know how I feel. Just like every time M Misa just comes with a bass solo. Like this is this song and um, the one I did before playing, just having her do like the bass solo or and, and stuff in the beginning is always like a treat to me because it always like gets me interested in the song. Because um, I told you like I, until I saw Misa playing and you know, like LA from the morning and all that, she, she's great and you know, she like sort of got me into bass, but seeing like Misa play bass just makes me fall in love with the sound of bass. Because before I couldn't hear it, because the music I listened to, it wasn't prominent. But in band made, it's very prominent, and I love that. And every time I get to hear her play bass, it's awesome, and it's a gift. Every time I every time I hear Miku sing, it always like 
brings a smile to my face because once again, I don't, I don't hear her sing a lot. The only, the, the, the one song I heard her sing solo was, uh, uh, Rock In Me, which I have to say, I've heard it many times more and it's one of my favorites, like favorite favorites, like up there with, um, Don't Tell, Don't You Tell Me. And that's my favorite. So if it, it's really up there with that one. Um, but, um, just, just seeing and then hearing her and I don't know, I don't think I say it, a, I don't think I say it a lot, but just know that I love when Miku and, um, Psyche, um, harmonize or sing together i love when that happens and then they sort of like play off each other like like say psyche will say something and then miku will say something and will sing something and they're like go back and forth like that like so far the song is really good um not one of my favorites but definitely a really good song um i think it's one of my favorites on the album though um um once again akane's having fun watching Misa just chill out with the bass and I did and I, and I did see um at the beginning I don't once again I don't mention it I did see um Misa being barefoot I did see it I did finally like see it and it's really funny to me um I think I'm about to go in, go into uh, Konami um having a solo which I'm very excited for <laughs> I love how I, I was like, we're going to get a Konami solo. And then we had like Konami and uh, Misa going back and forth maybe once or twice. And then we went into Konami having solo. And then we had like a very tiny drum solo or at least a longer um, drum fill. Um, and then back to um, uh, Psyche and Miku doing the uh, chorus, which once again, is a very nice chorus. Um, oh gosh. Like I, I, I see it. This is what I meant when I say like, like sometime, like, like I haven't heard the studio version, but I assume that seeing this or listening to this versus listening to the studio version, you would love the live version a lot more because I think you get a lot more. Well, you get, you get less when it comes to probably like the added, like sounds they probably add on the studio, but you get like sometimes a little more when you get like you know like a bass solo or an added drum fail or added drum solo and, and whatnot with that so i guess it's like you know you you get a fair trade and i appreciate that with like bands like band made because you you do miss stuff from like the studio but you get more sometimes with a lot of the live stuff which i find awesome um once again great song one of my one of my favorite more favorites on the album along with the uh, clang and uh, maybe I'm just in a good mood tonight. Maybe that's what it is. But so far, second half of the album, I'm loving it. Um, what's the meaning of the song? Let me know in the comments. But that's all I have for you. Thank you for watching. <laughs>